Many times, we like to see the diversion from the usual shoujo romance anime and watch some unique stories and characters. Welcome to Anime Dynasty, and today, we bring you Top 10 Demon-Human Relationship Anime. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. So, let's get on with the list. Starting off, we have Diabolic Lovers. At the behest of her father, Yui Komori goes to live in a secluded mansion, home to the six Sakamaki brothers, a family of vampires. Though at first the siblings are confused as to why the girl has arrived, they soon realize that she is to be their new sacrificial bride, not to mention their other, more carnal intentions for her. After meeting the brothers, Yui quickly begins to question why her father would have sent her here and why she feels a strange new pain in her chest. With each brother being more sadistic than the last, Yui's life as a captive takes a harrowing turn in her new home, and Yui's days with the brothers, to her, are maddening and confusing. <laughs> Next up, we have Dance with Devils. Ritsuka Tachibana has always been a good student, so she is completely shocked when she is suddenly summoned by the student council. Even more, they seem to think of Ritsuka as a troublemaker. Led by the handsome Rem, the student council tries to question her, but it soon becomes clear that they have ulterior motives. However, this is only the beginning. When her mother gets kidnapped, her life is turned upside down, and Ritsuka gets drawn into a world of vampires and devils. Both groups are searching for the Grimoire, a forbidden item allowing its owner to rule the world. Now, with her brother back, she thought things would be better, but he himself seems to have a secret. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Dragon Crisis. The series revolves around Ryuji, a seemingly ordinary teenager who is living a peaceful life while also attending high school. However, his peaceful life gets interrupted after his second cousin, Eriko, returns from abroad. With no time to waste, Eriko drags Ryuji to a black marketing organization called Fang. The two steal a large relic box from the broker and run away. After opening the box, Eriko and Ryuji find a young girl-like dragon with long blonde hair and sparkling blue eyes. The girl instantly recognizes Ryuji and becomes attracted to him. Up next, we have Omomori Himari. After the death of his parents, Yuto Amakawa lives a pretty ordinary life in the city. The only problem he has to worry about while attending school alongside Rinko, his next door neighbor, is his cat allergies. That all changes on his 16th birthday, when an Ayakashi, a supernatural creature, attacks him for the sins of his ancestors. Luckily, Yuto is saved by Himari, a mysterious catwoman with a sword who explains that Yuro is the scion of a family of demon slayers, and she is there to protect him, since the charm that kept him hidden from the supernatural forces of the world has lost its power. Next up on the list, we have Nuruko Crawling with Love. Mahiro is just an ordinary high school student, until one day he is suddenly attacked by a dangerous monster. 
Just when everything seems to be lost, he is saved by a silver-haired girl named Naruko, who claims to be the shape-shifting deity from horror author H.P. Lovecraft, sent by the Space Defense Agency to Earth. She explains to Mahiro that the creature chasing him was an alien called Nightgon, who had planned on abducting and selling him as a slave. After rescuing him from the alien, the Lovecraftian deity falls madly in love with Mahiro and forces herself into his household. Coming up next, we have Yushibu. Dreaming of becoming a hero and vanquishing the Demon King, Raul Chaser enters the hero training program in pursuit of his ambition. However, when the Demon King is defeated and peace returns to the world, the hero training program is suspended indefinitely, making it impossible for anyone to become a hero. <laughs> Two years later, Roll reluctantly works at a small electronics store called Magic Shop Leon. Though the former hero in training is plagued by the mundanity of working in retail, everything changes with the arrival of a new hire. Next up on the list is High School DXD. High school student Issei Hyodo is your run-of-the-mill pervert who does nothing productive with his life, peeping on women and dreaming of having his own harem one day. <laughs> Things seem to be looking up for Issei when a beautiful girl asks him out on a date, although she turns out to be a fallen angel who brutally kills him. However, he gets a second chance at life when beautiful senior student Rias Gremory, who is a top class devil, revives him as her servant, recruiting Issei into the ranks of the school's occult research club. Slowly adjusting to his new life, Issei must train and fight in order to survive in the violent world of angels and devils. <laughs> Now we have Devil's Line. Vampires walk among society. They do not require blood to survive, but extreme emotions can immensely increase their bloodlust, turning them into uncontrollable monsters. Tsukasa Taira learns of the existence of vampires when her longtime friend reveals himself to be one of them after a tense confrontation with Yuki Anzai, a human vampire hybrid. Her friend is arrested, and Tsukasa soon finds herself drawn to Anzai, who reluctantly reciprocates her feelings. However, this unconventional romance may prove too difficult to maintain, as Anzai struggles to contain the part of him that wishes to devour Tsukasa. Up next we have Kamisama Hajime Mashita. High schooler Nanami Momozono has quite a few problems of late. Downtrodden and homeless, she helps an old man. And to her surprise, he offers her his home in gratitude. But when she discovers that said home is a rundown shrine, she tries to leave. However, she is caught by two shrine spirits and a fox familiar named Tomoe. Realizing that Mikage must have sent her there as a replacement god, Tomoe leaves abruptly, refusing to serve a human. In her fumbling attempt to seek out Tomoe, she lands in trouble and ends up sealing a contract with him. Now, the two must traverse the path of godhood together as god and familiar. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the list, we have Beyond the Boundary. Mirai Kuriyama is the sole survivor of a clan of spirit world warriors with the power to employ their blood as weapons. 
As such, Mirai is tasked with hunting down and killing Yomu, creatures said to be the manifestation of negative human emotions. One day, while deep in thought on the school roof, Mirai comes across Akihito Kanbara, a rare half-breed of Yomu in human form. In a panicked state, she plunges her blood saber into him only to realize that he's an immortal being. From then on, the two form an impromptu friendship, which revolves around Mirai constantly trying to kill Akihito in an effort to boost her own wavering confidence as a spirit world warrior.